I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Andreas Gluski. He is CEO at AES. Andreas, it is wonderful to have you on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me on the floor. Great to be here, Judy. So, Andreas, what does responsible transition look like for AES? Well, really, that's uh, the purpose of our company, is to manage the energy transition. We want to accelerate the future of energy. So it is a process, it's a transition. It's not flipping the switch. You can't go from fossil fuels to all renewables overnight. So while we are one of the largest renewable developers, last year we signed more corporate long-term uh, power purchase agreements or contracts for renewable power with corporations than anybody else in the world. It is a process. So I think there's some, we have some very good examples of how you can do this process. So for example, in Hawaii, we had a coal plant. We just shut it down. But to be able to shut it down, we built 400 megawatts replacing that capacity, plus put in batteries, because batteries are very essential to be able to run an electric grid with just renewable. So to us, it's a transition. It's got to be done smartly. Um, and at the same time, because you know people are depending on you for their electricity. OK, so now tell me, how are you reducing your emissions profile? Well, we're reducing our emissions profile by, by two ways. First, we know we're shutting down or converting coal plants to gas. At the same time, we're building a tremendous amount of renewables. So to give you an idea, we have our, our total fleet is about 31, 32 gigawatts. We have a backlog of renewables of 10 gigawatts. So those will be built in the next two years. So it gives you an idea of how fast this switch is occurring. But again, it has to be done in a planned and responsible manner. And I, I think Hawaii is, is an example of what can be done. Okay, so tell me, how are you creating value for shareholders while considering the impact on the environment? Sure, I really don't see a trade-off here between going green and shareholder value. Uh, we are the best performing stock in the utilities index, whether you measure it for five years, three years, one year. And we have been undergoing this transition, I think more rapidly than anybody. So right now, there's enormous pent up demand for renewables. In fact, this is not a problem of demand. We can sell everything we can produce. The problem is of supply, getting permitted land, interconnections, equipment. So really, I, I think getting out ahead of this was key to fulfilling our mission of you know, maximizing shareholder value. All right, well, Andreas, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you very much, Judy.